my name is ankush chowri so i am the uh, founder of this learnomet technology so we do provide the training on uh, oracle dba rag dba and um, apart from this we also provide the training on sql and linux and we also started giving a training on big data technologies like hadoop spark and uh, many other technologies so basically uh, initially i started with uh, giving a training on oracle db only but gradually we started giving a training on multiple different different technologies also so nowadays uh, we are working with the technologies like uh, hadoop big data uh, golden gate training we just started today uh, uh, we are also giving a training on rag database sql pl sql so those people who want to join the online training so this platform is uh, the online training where everyone can join from any location that's not a problem so those people who want to join offline classes so they can join the offline classes in pune location we have office available in pune location in pune there is a location called wakad so in wakad location we have our offline class is also going on so those people who are interested and uh, they are coming they are from pune location they can join this offline classes also now uh, in our today's session uh, we'll be discussing about the golden gate technology so this golden gate technology uh, will be given by one of my uh, trainer um, so he is going to give the training on golden gate uh, his name is anil so he is having 13 plus years of experience uh, with the golden gate and he is very much expertise with this golden gate technology so all the details will be shared by uh, anil related to the golden gate why we are using the golden gate uh, and what is the importance of golden gate uh, nowadays in the industry so you know that uh, whenever we are starting our career as a uh, oracle dba the first thing that we understand about the oracle dba is we talk about the sql and linux right that's a starting point of our oracle db so i hope uh, those people who joined here everyone is aware about the sql and linux and that's the next next part like uh, we talk about the oracle db like where we will understand about the oracle core technologies like your uh, oracle database installation architecture arm and backup export import user management all these concept we have already learned in the oracle core db architecture if you go little on high level side from the oracle core db technology then you must have learned about the technology like oracle asm data guard um, all these technologies right um, and after that um, most of you people is also thinking to learn about the oracle rack dba so whenever we are talking about the high availability right so oracle rag play a very very important role very very important role so uh, rag db training also we have started um, so those people who are interested for the rag db training they can reach out to us and most of you people where i can see that they have already gone through the training under me for oracle db as well as rag db so now this is the time for golden gate so let's see about the golden gate uh, how how much uh, like you are comfortable with the golden gate and uh, how much time it, uh, like we will try to understand that okay anything if you have any questions related to the uh, specific to the training like you can ask me now so we can discuss like if you have any questions related to the uh, other trainings you can ask me and we'll start the oracle golden gate class session in just 2 uh, 3 minutes okay hi ankush murgesh nigar yes yes please tell me so i would i would bro, i would like to join or uh, rag and uh, no asm uh, course okay. online course oracle uh, rag and uh, asm okay see uh, specific uh, specific to asm uh, like like if you ask me only asm that training we don't have usually we take the training on oracle db so i have okay. a single training of oracle db 
and okay. inside the oracle dba only i am taking the training of this oracle asm data guard patching okay. upgradation even okay. shell scripting and oracle core dba concept so it's a single training okay and um, we are everything we are covering okay. and that is cost around 15000 in indian rupees and 300 dollar okay. in uh, $300 dollar in terms of USD dollar. Okay. So separate uh, training we have that is a rack DBA. Okay. So okay. Here we will discuss about the only rack database. Okay. So I reach you an offline. I have a number. Okay. Okay. Fine. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Uh, sir, I have Ryzen X laptop. Uh, is it uh, working? Well? No, I'm not able to hear you. Anything? Okay. I have uh, Ryzen X laptop, sir. You are talking about a laptop configuration? Did yes, you? yes, sir. See, laptop Ryzen configuration is all depend upon the technology to technology. Okay. See, mm -hmm. uh, let's consider that you are talking about the Oracle DBA. So in Oracle yes. DBA, you don't need more configuration like Oracle Core DBA side. 8 GB RAM is also sufficient and 100 GB storage. Okay. But if you go to the rack, uh, rack is like, you know, at least two node, you'll uh, like your machine will start right? at, at least two servers will start at a time. So in order to run that two node, you need more RAM actually. Okay. You need more RAM. Uh, so 8 GB is not going to be sufficient for you. At least you need 16 GB RAM. Okay. I have 16 GB, sir. 16 GB uh, is then then no problem. But uh, those laptop people, ah, uh, what do you say? Uh, laptop processor. Uh, processor, you are saying? Ryzen, sir. Okay, Ryzen is fine. Like, but in that also we have a different different versions are there. Uh, I know the uh, from the Intel side, so you should have a laptop of i5 series. i3 will be little slow. Okay so try with the so those people who are uh, you know those people who are looking for to purchase a new laptop my suggestion to them is uh, try with the laptop which is supporting maximum ram try with the laptop which is supporting maximum ram okay so that's how you know uh, we should go for it because if your laptop is supporting 16 gb that is a maximum ram i'll tell you one thing that uh, in terms of learning of oem OEM, I don't know how many people know here. OEM is a monitoring tool uh, for the Oracle DBA. So if you want to do the installation of OEM in on your personal laptop, then OEM is not going to be installed in 16 GB. You need 32, 32 GB RAM for that. So uh, that's, that's how it works, okay? Uh, again, you can try for the cloud, uh, but I as per my experience, cloud is uh, again little costly you know when you are doing the practice so it's a problem so better you go for the good laptop configuration if you are purchasing new or maybe uh, any uh, any old laptop also if you are purchasing uh, shall we start yeah yes please thanks okay okay uh, good morning guys so today we'll be uh, uh, looking into the oracle golden gate product and uh, we will see uh, step by step the use of the oracle golden gate and uh, how it is used widely in the industry to replicate the data so let's begin with this uh, presentation uh, my name is anil uh, i'm an oracle dba uh, and I, i've been working with the software industry since last more than 10 plus years and uh, for the last seven years i have worked on the oracle golden gate uh, part so let's begin uh, from the uh, golden gate so what is uh, oracle golden gate actually uh, oracle golden gate it is a solution for the real time data integration what is mean by real time uh, real time means uh, the moment you commit a transaction on any of the source uh, database then it gets replicated in uh, with a like sub second latency to the target site in the oracle environment that is why it is called as it's real time data integration solution and uh, what oracle golden gate does it, it it captures 
filters, it routes, verifies, transforms, and it delivers the transaction data in real time. So the transaction data, it can be anything like your ATM transaction, a simple withdrawal of uh, suppose thousand rupees from any of the ATM. So that will get replicated to the target uh, uh, database. And the best part is uh, it, it preserves the transaction integrity of whatever the transaction you are doing. What is mean by preserving the transaction integrity? It means your transactions, it will be pre uh, whatever the changes you do, even if it's update, delete, or insert a record, that, that integrity of that transaction will be maintained across the network to the target database site. That is why it is called, uh, it is, it is uh, preserve the transaction integrity. Uh, the Oracle Golden Gate uh, software, uh, the, let, let's uh, look at the history of it. So basically it was uh, designed, it was founded the Oracle, uh, the Golden Gate software in corporation by Eric Fish and Todd Davidson in 1995. So uh, originally it is designed for fault or tolerant tandem computers uh, to replicate the data. So banks initially used uh, it in their ATM network, uh, which is spread across the uh, high street. Uh, so they, they collect the data from their machine and they send it to their mainframe computers. So it quickly become popular uh, with the uh, replication solution uh, in the market. In, 2000, in the year 2009, uh, the Oracle acquired this product, uh, uh, Golden Gate Software Inc. And they integrated that into uh, their uh, uh, data integration uh, solutions. Okay. Uh, the uses of the Oracle Golden Gate, uh, okay, so we will look into why uh, uh, there are many so solutions in the market, okay. Uh, we have the SharePlex uh, tool, uh, the SharePlex software of the IBM, then uh, we have the HP uh, uh, solutions also. But uh, the beauty of the Golden Gate is uh, it is used in multiple uh, scenarios. Uh, the first thing is it maintains the transaction integrity, the other is if the huge the, if the volume of the data is huge still it it can handle that uh, data volume of the data and uh, maintain the transaction integrity and send it to the target system the other uh, uh, beautiful uh, feature of the golden gate is we can use that uh, for uh, the initial load as well that is not the case with the other uh, replication solutions so we can use the, uh, to load the, uh, to uh, clone the data actually uh, from source system to the target. We can also use uh, the Oracle Golden Gate for the live reporting purposes where, where our source database production server will not be overloaded and whatever the reporting uh, queries that we want to try or we want to run that will be taken care by the uh, target uh, uh, database servers. Uh, it is also used for the uh, mm, the data integration purposes, uh, which means uh, we can uh, combine uh, the volume of data from uh, different sources and uh, send it to the uh, one uh, one target database. So it's like we can also call it as a consolidation. The Golden Gate, we can, we, the Golden Gate is also used for zero downtime upgrades and migration. So this feature is, it's, it's a unique one and it's very important. So for migration purposes, uh, let me uh, explain you a scenario. So suppose you have your on-premises database and you are migrating that database into the Azure cloud. Okay. So there are two networks right your on-prem network and there is a azure network those are the separate networks so how you do it the the one solution is we can use the arm and full backup right obviously to uh, to migrate it but that that requires the downtime right you need to down uh, get the downtime at the, at the time of cutover uh, and what happens if client don't agree for that uh, it is a mission critical application in this case, what we do is do what we do can do is we can set up a source in our on-premise database and we can set up uh, uh, our target in Azure Cloud, and we can start the replication of those schema which is important for, for the application. 
because not all the schemas are required for the uh, application. And then uh, once we uh, send the data from our on-premises database into the cloud, we can cut over that at any time. So this is actually the most important feature because uh, uh, in our uh, environment, uh, I'll tell you a real time environment. In at and uh, that is a big telecom corporation. We have used this many times to migrate the data from on-premises to the Azure cloud. The only thing is you need to open the networking ports between uh, your on-premises and Azure cloud. Uh, the network security team will do that for you. And then, uh, yes, you, are, you can go and just start the migration. Uh, the Oracle Golden Gate also provides support for the big data. It's a real-time uh, consolidation for big data uh, solutions. And also we can use that for the hybrid cloud sync migration. At this point is actually same uh, like the, uh, the second one, the zero downtime migration. Uh, now we will quickly look into the uh, architecture of the, uh, the Golden Gate. Okay, let me open a, an architecture uh, diagram for you. Let me know once you see the diagram. Can you see it? So uh, this is the high level architecture of uh, the Oracle uh, Golden Gate. Uh... In the architecture, can you see? Sorry? Yeah, okay, okay. So this is our source database and this is our target database. So I think we cannot the... see that uh, uh, architecture diagram. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> You can, can you see or not? No, we can see files. Oh, okay, 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 fine. One, one. Now? No. Oh, one second. So when you are sharing the screen, you need to share a whole screen. Uh, you can stop the sharing and when you are sharing, there is option to share whole screen. I think you are sharing some single, single file. Uh, one second. For sharing, it is showing actually the single uh, uh, screen only for my, uh, because it is a basic plan. So. <laughs> What's the issue you're saying? Uh, can you see it now? No. Okay. Uh, you can stop the sharing and share it again. One second. Okay. Fine, fine. Stop. Okay. Now when you click on the share, sh share with the full screen. But there is no option of full screen actually. It, it, it says only the. Uh, no screen to uh, will be then a screen one or some, something like this screen. It will. Okay, yeah. you can try at least. Try. Okay, okay, okay. One minute, one minute. Whiteboard. Uh, fine. Can you see it? We can see now, correct? Yeah, okay, okay, fine. So this is the architecture of um, Oracle Golden Gate. So here we have the source at the left hand side and we have the target database at the right hand side. So the basic building components of the Oracle Golden Gate is uh, the source and target database, uh, the extract process, which uh, we also called it as a capture process. Then there is a manager, uh, which actually manages the uh, 
the file the extract files which has the responsibility to send the extract files over the network using the tcp ip protocol to the target database site so man uh, then the manager will send over these file to the target database where the replicate process uh, which is also an integra integral part of this architecture which will uh, read those trail files that is sent over by the source database uh, server and then it will apply those changes onto the target database site so uh, there is a one more process uh, which is highlighted in yellow here which is a data pump process uh, the idea behind this data pump process is uh, when we don't have the data pump process in that case the whole burden of uh, sending the data files uh, capturing uh, the transaction as well as sending the data files will be on this extract process and those processes will be overloaded and it will uh, ultimately uh, slow down or degrade the performance or of our replication so to avoid our extract process uh, with this unnecessary burden uh, uh, the golden gate uh, they have devised this uh, data pump process they come up with this process the the uh, the job of this data pump process is it will read those trail files uh, that is uh, created by this extract process it will take those uh, 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 trail files and it will send over uh, those trail, uh, trail files or the network to the target site so uh, the burden on the extract will be less it don't have to uh, look for the uh, sending of the uh, trail files over the network that will be taken care by the da this data pump process also at this data pump process uh, we can skip some tables if we don't want to skip uh, if we don't want to replicate those tables on the target side we can also do that uh, uh, on this uh, on the data pump side itself so uh, the, uh, the there are two types of architectures uh, for the oracle uh, the uh, uh, golden gate software uh, the one is classic architecture and the other one is uh, the uh, yeah, so. so in case of classic architecture uh, let me show you so suppose this is our source database this is our target database so in case of classic architecture uh, which is actually uh, if we have the version which is older than 112.3 then we have the classic architecture where whatever the changes is happening uh, at the source database okay those changes were captured from the redo log of the source database or the archive log archive log okay archive log and then the trail file is constructed and then it is sent over to the network to the target site using the tcp ip okay uh, now 11204 onwards they came up with the uh, classic ar uh, the integrated architecture uh, what is integrated architecture is there will always be a dedicated log mining server process log mining server process which is tightly attached to the source database itself okay so this log mining uh, uh, server process uh, it will create a logical change records lcrs it will create uh, an lcrs and then those lcrs will be written to the trail file okay it will be written to the trail file those lcrs and then though uh, the trail file will be sent over to the uh, target uh, database server where it will be applied onto the uh, target database the benefit of this uh, method is okay so let me explain a scenario suppose you have the classic architecture okay and uh, 
there is a log file which is generated okay but that that archive log file is by mistake it is deleted by somebody else uh, from your database team then in this in that case uh, what what happens you need to restore that log file in order to capture those transaction in that uh, trail file and then that trail so that, that trail file will be sent to the target so you will get some ogg error that log file is missing kind of but in case of uh, integrated architecture what your log mining server process it is continuously monitoring live your read logs for any committed transactions okay so there is no point of uh, checking the transactions into the archive log whatever is there in the read log before it is going to archive once it is committed itself uh, the log mining server process will capture those changes then and there itself in the read log it will construct a lcr logical change record and then it will send it to the uh the trail file and then then that trail file will be sent to the target server okay so uh, this is uh, the difference between the classical and the integrated uh, architecture of the oracle golden gate so 11204 onwards we have the uh, integrated um, uh, extract architecture now let us uh, Let me share you one more screen. Okay. so uh let let me tell you one more uh, feature of this oracle golden gate so uh, okay fine uh, from uh, 11 uh, so from uh, 12 uh, the version 12.2 uh, onwards uh, 12 12.2.3 onwards we have the uh, the new feature which is uh, the cdc uh, the, the conflict data cdr the, uh, the auto cdr the conflict and data resolution uh, that is implemented uh, by using the uh, the golden gate so even in integrated architecture uh, whatever uh, the drawbacks regarding the conflicts of the updates or the uh, yeah it's mostly regarding the update whatever the conflicts that is occurring that will be uh, taken care by the auto cdr feature which is an advanced feature so you can say that the 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 work of uh, uh, the two person it is like lessened Uh, we we don't need to have the more dbs working on these uh, abandoned uh, extracts or abandoned replicate uh, uh, working uh, day and night uh, the cdr uh, feature will take care of most of the the conflicts that is occurring for the updates or uh, the deletes uh, that is happening on the uh, target database so uh, this is uh, all about the uh, the Uh, uh, I mean, one doubt. Uh, could you explain that uh, one CDR this one again? So, uh, is there any parameter we need to add for enabling that one? 
Uh, yes, yes. We need to uh, add the auto CDR uh, when we install the Oracle Golden Gate. At that time, uh, uh, in the manager uh, or the global file, we can make those changes. We enable that. Okay. Okay. Yes. And uh, I hope the syllabus uh, that uh, uh, is already shared with you, uh, Ankush, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, no, uh, the syllabus has not shared, but I'll share with this. Okay. So guys, if you have any question related to the training, uh, you can ask here. So we can discuss accordingly. Can you can you explain the data pump uh, features? From the data? Oh, okay, okay, fine, definitely. One second. So we'll do one thing, Anil. What we'll do this technical stuff, like we will take in the class only. Okay. So if you guys think that uh, you know training uh, looking good because the demo lecture is for that only so technical all the technical queries will take in the class okay right now if you have any doubts related to the in terms of training so you can ask us so we can discuss accordingly so the training is on uh, uh, integrated architecture or it is on the microservices uh, it will be on the integrated architecture but from 21c it is deprecated right if, uh, from 21c only microservices are uh, supported integrated is eliminated yes correct but currently uh, actually uh, i'm working on 19c golden gate like uh, the latest version 19.16 so i don't see like uh, integrated stuff going anywhere for the foreseeable future at least like like but if you want, definitely we can cover that part also, microservices architecture as well. So this uh, Golden Gate installation will be on standalone database or it's on the rack database? Uh, it will be on the standalone databases. Two machines will be there, the source and target. We can have the virtual box also. It will be in the virtual box. So the installation will be not on rack databases. Uh, no, it will not be on rack database. How oh, this Golden Gate works on uh, independent platform like uh, MySQL to Oracle, Oracle to SQL Server? Uh, okay, in, in case of independent platform, okay, so if your source database is like MySQL, then uh, uh, it is the same, like you capture the, tra the trail files, then you send it over to the network and then it is applied to the Oracle database. There is a parameter difference. We need to set uh, uh, more parameters on the MySQL database side, like uh, the data types, specifically uh, the data types we need to match. Uh, there are some data types like the large object binaries and some uh, raw data type that is not supported. So the entire matrix of what is supported and what is not supported is there uh, on the, uh, the Golden Gate website. So you will have that, uh, I'll, I'll share that matrix with you. What is supported, which data type exactly supported and which is not supported. So we need to install uh, this Golden Gate software into MySQL host and then we'll configure. Yes, yes, you need to install that. Okay. Uh, Ali, can you please stop the sharing? I'll share the syllabus with them so that they can go through that once. Uh, I'll just uh, yeah. share my screen. So this is the syllabus, guys. Uh, like we are going to cover. Okay. You can see here also. Uh, Okay, so now let's talk about the training uh, in terms of like those people who are interested for the training, they can reach out to us uh, on our email ID. This is the email ID where you can drop the email and, and the mobile number or WhatsApp number will be. Put it here. So this is the WhatsApp number where you can reach out to us. Okay. The fees for the training. Okay. Uh, we will let you know about the fee structure and everything. 
syllabus also i am going to share you in some time okay so further any details if you need let me know uh, about the timings and everything also we'll discuss i'll let you know about the timings okay so i think uh, anil like if you don't have anything uh, at this point we can stop here what do you suggest uh no i just only one thing if if uh, uh, the, the trainees uh, the people if you want to uh, perform the hands on on this you should at least have an 8 gb of laptop okay minimum mm -hmm. configuration because uh, in virtual box we will be conferring two nodes right? so you can target data there so if you are doing it on 4 gb it you will get frustrated okay it will not work it will hang out and uh, just so you need at least 4 gb of ram each or uh, minimum 3 gb for two nodes of source and target database then only uh, the, that process will go for, uh, forward that is the only point i can highlight as of now yeah uncle i am done from my side okay 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 guys then yeah thank you so much for connecting okay uh, please reach out to us if you have any doubts any questions any queries we'll discuss accordingly thank you so much bye bye thank you thanks